I recently picked up a 7 inch mini laptop from AliExpress. Long story short, best course of action to fix some of the issues is to reinstall Windows. We have a Windows 11 USB boot disk. These are pretty easy to make. You just download it, put it on a, a disk that you don't mind erasing, uh, power on the unit, and for this one, if you want to get into the BIOS, you just hold the escape button is what I found out. Takes you into the BIOS screen. I'm going to just kind of look around and mess with it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to torture you with having to watch me play with the BIOS. After just kind of seeing what's in there, just going to have it reboot boot from the USB drive. And let's get this Windows reinstall going. And <laughs> it's sideways. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a little fun. So using that little red nipple button thing is kind of a pain sideways. So I'll do it back a few moments later. And I got a wired USB mouse that I'm just going to plug in here. Hopefully this makes things a little easier. Since I know what... Uh, while we're installing, I'm pretty sure Bluetooth and those aren't going to work, so... We'll continue on getting this installed. Hopefully, maybe... <laughs> A few minutes later... Alright, we're copying Windows files, we're getting things ready. A little longer than a few minutes later... Rebooting, restarting... Much, much, much later... And we got a Windows 11 st startup screen. Now we're checking for updates. 20 minutes later. And now we got brand new Windows 11 install. First thing I could do is just switch the display mode back to horizontal. And this is actually an activated Windows 11 Pro. While working on this, I also decided to give it a name. The touchscreen doesn't register anything yet. The actual left and right mouse button that are next to the mouse button do not work. Nor does the sound. There's no sound drivers installed yet. If you try and turn the volume up and down, we get nothing. So nothing's installed there. So now we're gonna have to check for updates and see if we can install. The sound drivers aren't really a big deal. Pretty sure that's gonna be found. It's the touch screen drivers. So Let's get these going and all the optional updates going. One nap later. And here we finally have a actual functioning touchscreen. Also see that the speakers are working. Turn the volume up and down. The left and right mouse button have to be mapped on the keyboard. Apparently they are optional function keys or like the num lock key. I'll have to fix that at some point. Three days later. And you know what? Since this thing is actually functioning now and working well, I decided to rename it to the only name that seems appropriate. So welcome to the Blue Tooch. Hopefully this was at least enjoyable. Try and make it fun. If you like this, let me know. Leave a comment below. Until next time.